Today I'm going to show you how to edit Teams in Galaxy. The software we'll need for this is Karameru and Ins 3DS. So I went ahead and made a folder called ROMFS. If we open this up you'll see two files here. These are from my modding template um, folder that will be linked in the description. Uh, so you can go find fresh files for all of Galaxy inside that template straight pretty much ready to uh, mod from straight away. So we want to, what we want to do right is we want to open, uh, make a new folder, and we'll call it ie6 underscore a underscore fa, and we'll make a new folder again, ie6 underscore b underscore fa. Make those two folders, inside ie6 underscore b underscore fa, make a new folder, call it res, and we'll make a new folder, call it data. We'll drag res inside data, and then we will open up i6 underscore b. So now that it's open, we'll open up data and inside res, we'll click on earth 11 and extract that, and we'll move into the res folder, and we'll save it there. Now, this will originally be a, a, a bin file, we don't want that, so we'll make a new folder, and we'll make sure it's titled exactly how it's titled here. So earth 11, all lowercase, no spaces, and we'll drag and drop uh, the bin file inside there. Next up, we want to take map, so we'll right click on map, extract map, we'll navigate to ROMFS, open up until we get to res, and extract inside res. This will take a minute, there are quite a few maps in here. Even, it's even went to not respond in there. Maps have been extracted successfully. Ok, good. Next up we want to do shop. Extract shop. Same place again. Open up here. Inside res. Click OK. Shop has been extracted successfully. Now we want to do soccer, extract soccer, open up ROMFS, inside by 6 underscore B, inside res, click OK. Uh, next up is the mo important one here, we want to extract team, inside ROMFS, inside here. Again, we want to show res, extracting successfully, and the last one is training, extract training, inside ROMFS, inside by 6 underscore B, data res, and then been extracted successfully. So make sure everything is in folders. Perfect, everything's in folders, that's what we wanted. Next up, to make sure the program actually runs properly, we will firstly close off of i6 underscore b and go into a, and then we'll extract um, the GDS pack inside i6 underscore a. Go to tools, compression, level 5, decompress. We'll click, we'll click on this, open, and then we'll save it as decomp. From here we would like to open up decomp, and then extract the, the, the decomp pack from the directory tree and save it inside i6 underscore a. Once it's been extracted successfully we'll get three files there, we see them, we're happy with them. Now we can open the program. So. This is the new ENS 3DS, or the latest ENS 3DS, and um, this comes with two uh, Galaxy ROM FSs already that you can just mess around with and have a bit of fun. So those are for testing purposes, but we will open it uh, up here, and you can see it's for Galaxy only at the moment, which is what we're, which is what we like. Um, so we'll open up uh, the file here and locate our ROM FS and open it through this. You'll see that we have opened uh, Go Galaxy here. Um, nothing has been highlighted at the moment here, it's still a work in progress I assume, but we can do uh, the, pl this, the same thing with the player edits, the same is just a bit different so we can edit things here. We don't want that though, we want this, we want the i6 underscore b. Now, the reason why we like, extracted this many um, files as opposed to last time is because we can edit so much more now. Before it was just a team, now we can edit You know uh, who gets picked for the um, the version exclusives and the uh, just in general who gets picked uh, for when we're going to space, uh, the black room, how much it costs to do the uh, 
the training. Uh, I assume this is items in shop, or like shop vendors and what they sell, and what items are inside the treasure boxes here, I assume. It's all in French at the moment, so uh, it's, it needs a little bit more time to uh, develop, we'll say. So we want to go on team. Now, team. Um, here, full list of every team inside the um, the game. They're all in French. Not very helpful, but it's fine. I'll walk you through it all, uh, French speaking or not. Um, it would be handy if you're French speaking, so you know, <laughs> be handy. So we, I'll go to one that we'll know uh, well. Chaos. We'll pick chaos. We like a bit of chaos. So this team is in the historical route. I know that. So you make sure you know what team you're editing. You can check by looking at their badge. If you want to double check everything, you can go into the game itself and then check uh, with the badge. It's just a good memory game kind of thing. So there's two tabs here. Information player. We'll start with information. Coach. Um, pick the coach you want to, uh, to represent the team. We'll pick Sable. Uh, formation. Rhyme on match. Don't I'm not too familiar with formations, I just like to pick the ones that I'm familiar with, that's zero. Um, the Heesot's Tactics, we can pick from the selection of tactics uh, offered here. They have Bermuda Triangle by the looks of things, so I will change that to Root of Sky, I believe that is. I'm not too familiar with the language. I can change their boots. We'll do echo boots. We can change the gloves. We'll do ogre gloves. Bracelets. They'll have a uh, Tez Cat's bracelet. Um, and the pendant will have a guard, the guardian uh, pendant. Uniform. We can change what they're the kit they're in. Um, you know, I heard a rumor that uh, Chaos are a big fan of Xanark. So we'll make them wear the Xanark kit. And you can change their level. I like level 3. They'll be level 3. And you can mess around with the minute XP you get, the bonus XP and the prestige you get. I won't touch that. You know, you can mess around with that if you want. Here's the main selling point for why I use the new software. Um, the players. Before, you would just get the players and you would have to organise them. Uh, you still need to organise them really in what position they're playing. But you couldn't change their numbers. In this, you can ch uh, you've got complete freedom of changing their numbers, which is a good selling point for me, because I like to keep things exact how they were. So um, let's change, let's spice things up a bit. Now I don't know if there's any Nigel August fans in or watching this video, but I'm not his biggest fan, so I'm going to change him to Sean Frost, because why not? Fubuki deserves some chaos. Um, he'll be number nine, so we'll change him, and he'll be number nine. Uh, if you want to finalise, if you want to change numbers, right? Say we Dawson Fox here. Say we want him to be number eighteen, right? So what you would do? Um, I've experienced this, so you can just type normally, right? You can type any number you want. It goes up to ninety nine, obviously. So we'll change him to eighteen. If you want to finalise it, make sure you press one of these uh, notches. That will make sure it saves properly. You don't press any keys to save, it saves automatically. So I can control S or uh, all I want, it's not going to make a difference. So we'll just close out it, it saves automatically, we'll be fine. Uh, everything is saved automatically, right? So that's us, we've done it, uh, we've done our edits, so we're going to go test, let's just go and test it now. So we'll close uh, in CDS and back into our ROM FS folder here. We have a few things to do. Firstly, um, we want to make sure we get these uh, these files onto this. So we didn't edit anything in the IE on the uh, underscore A. So we, it's strictly just B. Uh, so we'll open up uh, IE6 underscore B. Okay, once it's open, we'll just open up, not character, open up res into team and we'll replace it with the team that we have now, the new team. This will replace four files. Control S to save. And that should be us, I believe. So now that we've saved it, 
what we're going to do is I've already got the ROM FS uh, directory here. It is a mess, I'm not going to lie to you. If uh, <laughs> none of this will appear, don't worry. Um, as long as it's not an FA file, it won't read it. So as long as you can have whatever you want in here, essentially, you can have a whole few, a whole ass directory in here if you wanted, <laughs> and it wouldn't matter. As long as it's not an FA file, you'll be fine. So we can have this. This is the only file it will read. You can have as much clunk as you want in here, which I find quite funny to be honest. So we're just gonna go ahead and test this right now. Post commentary voice because I forgot how to audio balance, which is nice. So upon loading into the game here, we can see that the team level is still 80, but um, the coach has saved. Reason it's level 80 uh, because I didn't save the number correctly. I just typed in the number like I just typed in three and just left it like that. You can't do that with this program. So what you need to do is make sure you click the arrows either up or down, and that way you pretty much save it. So as you can see here, the formation has changed to uh, F0 and Fubike Sean Frost has um, is put, been put on the team along with the Xanart kit has all saved. That's all saved and thing. They've got the Echo Boots, the Test Cat Bracelet, you know, they've got all the good, the you know, the equ equipment uh, as well. But uh, one thing, you know, if you go on to Dawson Fox here, that his number did change to 18. So what you need to do is make sure you click the arrows at the side of the uh, the box, up or down, doesn't really matter. Just make sure you t uh, you press them if you want to set if you want to save it essentially. So if we go into a little match here, you can see a little bit of it here uh, that it is in fact working. <laughs> Xanark kit is there; uh, it's not just for show. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, that pretty much sums up uh, this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, if you found this helpful, why not consider subscribing? Give it a share if as well while you're at it and uh yeah i'm gonna give a special thanks to Riku in my comment section if you have a question of your own and uh feel free to leave it down below uh if it i'll try and answer it as fast as possible if it's an answer that's can be just dealt with on comments you'll you know i mean i'll just answer it straight away but if it takes more if it's a question that requires more than just a comment explanation i will make a whole uh, video dedicated to that subject so it really just depends on uh, the question really but feel free to leave any questions below i'll be happy to answer any and all and with that said i'm off